We have a new rift forming in the Grindavik and that area is sinking. This will be a graben or a rift. There is not much difference between them. Let's first go with the earthquakes that we had in this area. For two months, it caused the Grindavik to crack wide open and the town was evacuated. This is due to the mid-Atlantic ridge extending like a pastry. You can see that it stretches up and the mantle rises and through the cracks magma will form and then lava erupts. There is not much difference between graben and a, uh, a rift in this sense. Both form in this similar way. Rift is a bigger version of it we can say. And we had this in the Grindavik. The western part was sinking highest. 1.3 meters it fell down. That's the reason we have the harbor there. An eruption eventually will happen through the cracks that are opening up. And this was what was happened in the Hagerfeld Grindavik eruption just a few days ago. And now we have this uh, scenario probably going to repeat itself again. A wall was built around to hold back the lava, it, the uh, graben or the fissure which is actually having the uh, magma sliced through it. A second one sliced through inside the uh, lava wall that we built there, defensive wall, and went to the town. Now, slightly to the top part of these images, you can see the blue section in here. We have an 800 to 1,000 meter wide rift valley forming. That's around 30 centimeter, one foot, you can say. Compared to other one, it is just one third of it or one four, fourth of it. But that is going to continue to sink. This is the geological process that is continuing in that area. It may end up as a rift valley with the dry floor that people and tourists can walk into this. Or with something like what we saw from Fegedesville, uh, Meridolo, Riltikotro, uh, Sondonka, and the Hagerfell and Grindavik er fissure eruptions and showing something at the surface in the form of the lava flows which burned the houses, properties and damaged the roads. It seems the drama of the Grindavik will not stop here. It will continue. We are already waiting for the third eruption for this January and we will see how it will happen next.